Hi, I'm Emily Levitt, Vice President of Education at Sylvan Learning. Today is the day that we find out the answers to the Battle of the Books questions. We hope you had a really good time finding the answers to the questions. How do you think you did? You know, books have a great quality to transport us to other places, other times, meet new characters, and have new experiences. They really are a true escape. So now let's escape to the answers and find out how you did. Hi everyone, and welcome to the Elementary 2020 Virtual Battle of the Books Celebration. I'd like to start by taking a moment to express that even though we are all experiencing difficult times right now, we at BCPL are so thankful that we still get this opportunity to celebrate with you the amazing achievements you've made by reading, studying, and preparing for the Battle of the Books. And while we wish we could be with you in person as in previous years, we are nonetheless thankful and excited that we have been able to make this into a week-long celebration of just how amazing all of you are. Hopefully, on Monday, you got a chance to check out the author of Sanity and Tallulah, Molly Brooks's amazing video presentation. But if not, don't worry. She is giving a live question and answer program this Friday, so make sure to look for details on that. This past Sunday, we released all of the questions, so you may have seen those and already tried to play along and are now tuning in to see whether or not you answered correctly. Or you may have waited specifically for this video where you can play along as we ask the questions and try to answer as quickly as possible. So in the rest of this video, you will see some of our wonderful librarians read the questions and then provide the answer just like at a regular in-person battle. So. Please play along and keep track of your own score. That way, once it's over, you can talk to your coaches and teammates and compare and see just how well everyone did and use that to get extra motivated to train for next year's Battle of the Books competition. Thank you all for being here with us and best of luck to you. Let the Battle of the Books 2020 begin. Hi. My name is Noelle and I work at the White Marsh branch. Today I'm going to be reading round one questions. Here we go. Question one. In which book does a character describe her hair as her lifelong sorrow? The answer is Anne of Green Gables, a graphic novel by Mariah Marston. Question two. In which book is the main character's mother a doctor? The answer is Sanity and Tallulah by Molly Brooks. Question three. In which book does the story begin on Independence Day? The answer is The Season of Sticks Malone by Kekla Magoon. Question four. In which book does a character yell, there's a baby in the wishing well? The answer is Sparks by Ian Boothby. Question five. In which book does the main character say, eggplant, when posing for pictures? The answer is Front Desk by Kelly Yang. Question six. In which book is The Great Fire of London? The answer is Sweep, The Story of a Girl and Her Monster by Jonathan Oxire. Question seven. In which book is the main character's favorite meal, tacos, followed by ham and cheese sandwiches with pickles? The answer is Bob by Wendy Mass and Rebecca Stide. Question eight. In which book would you find this quote? My whole life was just one big sense of foreboding.
The answer is 24 Hours in Nowhere by Dusty Bowling. Question nine. In which book does a character look for clues and discover a greasy thumbprint? The answer is The Real McCoys by Matthew Swanson. Question 10. In which book does the following quote appear? Seventh grade dudes do not need babysitters. The answer is The Truth As Told by Mason Buttle by Leslie Connor. Hi everybody, I'm Jessica from the Randallstown branch and here are the questions and answers for round two. Question number one. In what book does a science lab catch fire? The answer is Sanity in Tallulah by Molly Brooks. Question two. In which book does the main character hear that sunbeams are pathways for people who die? The answer is, The Truth is Told by Mason Buttle by Leslie Connor. Question number three. In which book does the character avoid playing games in gym class because she doesn't want to get injured? The answer is Front Desk by Kelly Yang. Question four. In which book does the following passage appear? Keep moving toward what makes you feel most alive. The answer is Bob by Wendy Mass and Rebecca Stead. Question five. In which book does a character wear a number seven on her jacket? The answer is Sparks by Ian Boothby. Question number six. What's the point of seeing everything if there's no one to see it with? Is a quote from which book? The answer is Sweep, the story of a girl and her monster by Jonathan Oxier. Question seven. In which book would you find this passage? Man, I hoped I wasn't facing a life of endless just staring at four walls. Anything but that. The answer is 24 Hours in Nowhere by Dusty Bowling. Question eight. In which book would you find the quote, he says he studied his multiplication tables by counting all her freckles. The answer is Anne of Green Gables, a graphic novel by Mariah Marsden. Question nine. In which book would you find the quote, as far as I'm concerned, guacamole is basically just an avocado that fulfilled its destiny. The answer is The Real McCoys by Matthew Swanson. Question 10. In which book is a character named after the river of death? The answer is The Season of Styx Malone by Kekla Magoon. Hi, my name's Lisa Jones. I'm a librarian at the Pikesville branch, and I'm here to read questions and answers for round three. Question one. In which book is a pirate ship Lego set used to create 3,009 words from the dictionary? The answer is Bob 
by Wendy Mass and Rebecca Stead. Question number two. In which book does a character explain there are two roller coasters in America, one for rich people and one for poor people? The answer is Front Desk by Kelly Yang. Question number three. In which book does the main character have diaphoresis or excessive sweating? The answer is The Truth is Told by Mason Buttle by Leslie Connor. Question number four. In which book does a main character's father have a prosthetic leg? The answer is Sanity and Tallulah by Molly Brooks. Question number five. Thinking is fine. That's your job. Action is mine is a quote from which book? The answer is Sparks by Ian Boothby. Question number six. The best sort of name tells folks who you really are is a quote from which book? The answer is Sweep, the story of a girl and her monster by Jonathan Oxier. Question number seven. In which book does a squirrel do a backflip off power lines into a maple tree? The answer is the Season of Sticks Malone by Kekla Magoon. Question number eight. In which book do two kids share the same sandwich at lunch by passing it back and forth between bites? The answer is The Real McCoys by Matthew Swanson. Question nine. In which book would you find this quote? We're trapped and we're going to die. We're going to die horrible, agonizing deaths. The answer is 24 Hours in Nowhere by Dusty Bowling. And finally, question number 10. In which book does a character accidentally give her friend currant wine instead of raspberry cordial? The answer is Anne of Green Gables, a graphic novel by Mariah Marsden. Hi everyone, I'm Crystal from the Essex branch here to read you round four of Battle of the Books questions and answers. Question one, in which book does a character miss recess to make up a spelling test featuring the word Czechoslovakia? The answer is The Real McCoys by Matthew Swanson. Question two, in which book does an old man give the main character popsicles if she tells him what she learned in school that day. The answer is Front Desk by Kelly Yang. Question three. In which book does a character wear a panda hat? The answer is Sanity in Tallulah by Molly Brooks. Question four. In which book does the main character learn 
He is the smartest kid in the entire school, but the school has no honors courses. The answer is 24 Hours in Nowhere by Dusty Bowling. Question five. In which book does the following quote appear? Having a broken heart is no excuse to break someone else's. The answer is The Truth as Told by Mason Buttle by Leslie Connor. Question six. In which book does the following quote appear? I want to be a little farm girl. The answer is Bob by Wendy Mass and Rebecca Stead. Question seven. In which book would you find this quote? I'd rather look ridiculous with everybody else than plain and sensible all by myself. The answer is Anne of Green Gables, a graphic novel by Mariah Marsden. Question eight. In which book does a character accidentally set off a crate of fireworks? The answer is Sweep, the story of a girl and her monster by Jonathan Oxier. Question nine. In which book does a character get hit in the head by a soda can? The answer is Sparks by Ian Boothby. Question 10. We were flying through a wind of our own making, past, present, future, gliding around us, is a quote from which book? The answer is The Season of Sticks Malone by Kekla Magoon. Okay, thanks everyone for playing round four. Up next, we have round five, our bonus round of content questions. Hi, this is Megan Cruz from the Catonsville Branch, and I'll be reading you the bonus round of content questions. Number one, in Anne of Green Gables, Anne really wants to go to the class picnic because she's never had which dessert? The answer is ice cream. Question two, in the book Front Desk, what kind of dog does Mia say she has? The answer is Golden Retriever. Question three. In the book, The Truth as Told by Mason Buttle, what does the rescue crew use to extract Calvin from the skylight? The answer is dish soap. Question four. In the book, The Season of Sticks Malone, what is the name of Sticks's girlfriend? The answer is Lisa. Question five. In 24 Hours to Nowhere, Gus spends most of his adventure wearing a t-shirt that says, at least it's a... The answer is dry heat. Question six. In the book, Bob, what is the name of the rooster Livy meets as a child? The answer is queen. Question seven. In the book, Sanity and Tallulah, who has a dead rat fall on them while in the maintenance tunnels? The answer is Tallulah. Question eight. In the real McCoys, which award will Moxie never be interested in winning? The answer is the Wise Owl Award. 
Question nine. In the book Sweep, what name did Nan give her doll? The answer is Charlotte. Question 10. In the book Sparks, what comes through August's living room wall? The answer is Robot. Thank you all for participating in this year's Elementary 2020 Virtual Battle of the Books. A big thank you to everyone, all of the coaches, parents, guardians, teachers, librarians, our sponsor, Sylvan Learning, and most importantly, thank you to all of the students who prepared tirelessly for this moment. I hope you're all proud of what you've achieved, and we look forward to seeing you in person real soon. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy, and we'll see you at next year's Battle of the Books competition. Hi, and thanks very much for participating in this year's Battle of the Books. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. And special thanks again to Molly Brooks for coming and sharing her expertise with us. We really looked forward to this year's Battle of the Books and our partnership with Baltimore County Public Libraries, and we look forward to more partnerships with them in the future. In the meantime, you can find lots of free activities and engaging educational tools at sylvannation.com. And we hope to see you back here again next year. Happy summer.